This is footage animal activists claim proved Tasmania's greyhound racing industry should be shut down. It's of trainer Gary Johnson's Olveston property and highlights conditions his approximately 50 greyhounds are kept in. They are housed in tiny cages they can barely turn around in. Some are housed in tin sheds with barely any kind of protection from the elements. It was shot by drone last month and released today by Animal Liberation Tasmania. It'll be reviewed by the Office of Racing Integrity. If any breaches are identified as part of the investigation, uh, Tasmanians can be assured that appropriate action will be taken. In a statement, an Ori spokesperson said it was aware of the video and would inspect the property today and that it was also inspected on July 5. The trainer in question has defended his operation to the ABC. On the Wednesday, the stewards was here and went through my kennels. They went through me pup yards. They checked everything out and there was nothing wrong. Gary Johnson says he adheres to animal welfare standards. A couple of stewards reckons that we had the best kennels in the state. We start here at half past six every morning. Dogs are out seven days a week. Kennels are washed out. The dogs are all let out at two o'clock of an afternoon, fed, rugged and put back to bed. The greyhound industry is already under the microscope with a probe into conditions at Anthony Bullock's Exeter property already underway. The West Tamar Council has also confirmed it's investigating whether or not Mr Bullock has breached the conditions of his kennel licence. The minister needs to be coming out and saying this is not good enough. We're going to make an inquiry into the entire racing industry to ensure the community can have the integrity and the animal welfare standards it expects in this industry. Chris Robottom, ABC News.